have you ever wondered what those little icons are at the very top left of your Microsoft Office documents? They're usually in the blue bar or green bar or whatever color bar it is up at the very top. And you may not have very many up there, but a lot of people don't understand what those are. It turns out they are very helpful tools to make you more efficient and to save you time. And it's called the Quick Access Toolbar. I'll show you how to use the Quick Access Toolbar today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to show you how to use the Microsoft Office Quick Access Toolbar. And this is the toolbar at the very, very top of your Microsoft Office program, including Microsoft Outlook. First, I'll show you the details on how to use it in Microsoft Word, but then I'll give you a glimpse of it in Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. So you're probably asking, what is the Quick Access Toolbar? Why is that important to me? And those are great questions. The first answer is that the Quick Access Toolbar is for you to put all of the commands that you use all the time. I especially recommend putting save and print and things like that up at the top. This keeps you from having to click and find the different commands. And the reason this is important to you is that time savings, the efficiency, and you can even customize different documents to have different commands. So if you have a document that you are writing a book, let's say, then you might have different commands than a document where you're creating a mail merge. In a previous video, I showed you how to customize the ribbon, which is the big area that has all of the different icons in it. And this is an even more specific version of that. So you can customize the ribbon to have things where you want them, and you can have additional sections in the ribbon. But this quick access gets you immediately to the command that you need without even having to go to the different parts of the ribbon. This is a lot easier to understand when you see it, so let's jump right into Microsoft Word's Quick Access Toolbar. Here we have a Microsoft Word document open already, and you can actually see the bar I'm talking about is this colored bar at the top, and the color will vary depending on what program you're in. And right up here is where you can have your quick access tools. And you can see I already have a few, those ones I talked about saving, I even have save as, I have printing, and undo and redo. But if you want more than that, sometimes these are pre-programmed in, at least a few of them. But most likely you'll have ones that you use on a regular basis that you'd like to see up here. So the way that we can customize this, there's a couple different ways. We can click on this little arrow or we can right click anywhere in the area. You can see if you right click over here, you don't get quite what you're looking for. So you wanna right click in among the different icons. And you can see this would allow you to quickly remove things from the quick access toolbar. You can customize from here. You can show quick access toolbar below the ribbon. Let's see what that looks like. So that moves the quick access here. And that can be helpful since the name of the document's up here. And there's a few other things up at the top of the document. If you want a big long list of tools, it might be better for you to show it below. For me, I like it above. So I'm going to move that back, show it above the ribbon. And then those other things that you see, customizing the ribbon, collapsing the ribbon, uh, that is in a previous video. And you can see the link right above me right now. That was the quick way to make changes. If you would like to see some of the suggestions that Microsoft has for you, you can click this little down arrow. And here it's got a bunch of the ones that most people would want to have. And you can automatically click these on and off. So if I choose the open. Now you can see I have this open icon here. And if I don't want that, I could go back and uncheck it. In the same way, we can right click and remove something from the quick access toolbar here. Where this might be a little easier is if your item is not in the drop down, then you can't automatically uncheck it because it's not showing up. As a side note, some of you may be asking, what is this autosave? If you use OneDrive on your computer, then autosave should be working for you. And that does just what it sounds like. It auto saves your document as you go. That saves you from having to constantly click save like we used to do years ago. 
Back to our quick access toolbar, when we click this, we also have a chance for more commands, and here also is that show below the ribbon. So you have a lot of the same things here as you do from the right click. And when you right click and choose customize the quick access toolbar, that is the same menu that you'll get to with more commands. What this does is this takes us to our settings for the program. So if you're having trouble with the right click, then what you might want to do is get there the long way. And I can show you that real quickly. You will go to File, down to the very bottom. We're going to choose Options. You see this looks very familiar, this window here. Here is our Quick Access Toolbar. And then this is the same menu you were just seeing. Here is where we can fully customize that Quick Access Toolbar. Here you can see all the different options for the commands. It starts you with popular commands so that you don't get overwhelmed. But if you happen to know exactly where the command is that you want or the action, sometimes I'll call them actions. If you know right where that is, you can go straight to that tab. Otherwise, you can just start with popular commands and try two or three and see if you even use the quick access toolbar. Some people don't find the quick access toolbar as easy to use because they're used to doing other things and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to use every tool that's available. I just want to make you aware of this. If you have something you would like to add to the quick access toolbar, you can scroll through here and find what it is. Let's say I want to do paste as mine. And you can see there's multiple different paste options, but we're just going to do the regular paste. And I'm going to click add to add that over here. And then I can click the up arrow to move it somewhere else if I'd like to. If you make a mistake, you can always go back, click the remove, and it will take it right back out. If you're going along and you feel like you've made some mistakes and you're worried about it and want to go back to the way things were at the very beginning, you can always click this reset and then reset only the quick access toolbar. Now let's look at how you can customize to a specific document. That lives right up here. Here you can see it defaults to for all documents that we would have the same quick access toolbar for all documents. If you would like this quick access toolbar to just be for the document that you're looking at, you can choose that. Let's use an example of a document that you are going back and forth with someone using the reviewing tools. We will go to the review tab and to see all the different options. And so maybe I need to have accept revision over there to make it really quick and easy. Maybe I need to have comments over there. So I'm going to add that. And let's see. We will also do reject change. So now I can very quickly accept a revision, reject a change. All of those different items are there and available for me. When I click OK, now it has all of the default items plus these other ones. But if I go into another Word document, it will not have these options. So that is the basics of how to use the Quick Access Toolbar and to customize it to what you need. Let's look at this in Excel and PowerPoint and Outlook just to see the differences there. Here we have an Excel document. And you can see it's defaulting those same items all across all of Microsoft Office, which can be very nice. However, in an Excel document, you probably will have things that won't show up in a Word document and vice versa. We can use our same tools. We can use our right click to do things. We can use our down arrow to get to the quick things. And then we can always go to more commands. Here, obviously, our tabs are a little bit different, so you'll see that that changes, but everything else is pretty much the same. And here again, you can see that you could choose to add specific things to the toolbar just for this document. In PowerPoint, you can see that I have added a couple extra items that would not be available in the other quick, quick access commands, such as starting from the beginning of the slides, starting from the current slide. This can be very helpful 
when you are going between a PowerPoint presentation and back and forth to show something on your screen or go to something different, maybe two different presentations you have, anything like that. This can be very helpful because you can quickly click on one of these to start right where you left off potentially. And here we'll go to our more commands for the quick access toolbar just to see the difference here. And so you might want to, as you're building the PowerPoint, you could have your animations up at the top and quick and easy to access. And this brings up a good point that you could change this toolbar depending on where you're at with the work you're doing. You could have the toolbar be very pointed towards creating the PowerPoint presentation. And then when you're done with that, you could change the toolbar to take that out. You'll definitely want to think through how you can use this that would best benefit you in all the different programs. The last program we'll look at is Microsoft Outlook. And as you can see, I actually haven't used the quick access toolbar very much in my Outlook. So again, I could click here and add some of the ones that it has built in, such as replying, maybe forwarding, and maybe deleting. So then my quick access toolbar will be a lot more efficient for me to use. Some of those things such as deleting, replying, forwarding, they may be in the ribbon, but if you're someone who likes to save space, maybe you have the ribbon collapsed. Let's go over here. And then you just use your quick access toolbar. That's an example of how you can use these together. I'm going to unclaps the ribbon for now. But you can see there's benefits to using one or the other or both. We'll look very quickly at the more commands here just to see some of the different options that are available. Here you can see there's tasks, there's calendar. This looks quite a bit different. And so you can play around looking at what might save you the most time with your quick access toolbar here. Regardless of what you choose to put on your quick access toolbar, think it through a little bit beforehand. If you're going to use this in a simple way, just add the few things that you need and see if it works for you. And don't beat yourself up if you don't ever use it because you're not used to it. If it's not something that helps you very much, then don't worry about it. You can leave things up there. It won't hurt anything. Maybe eventually you'll start using them. I would start small with just a few different commands in your quick access toolbar because you don't want to spend a lot of time setting that up just to find out that it's not something that you're really going to use. I hope this video saves you time and makes you more efficient in your Microsoft Office. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell, that will give you notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.